Well, I'm our facts to Mars. And I'm going to forego the music and I'm not going to do a playlist on this one. Uh, Mr. Duder, President of the Philippines, vows to resign if anybody can produce, prove God exists. I know that's not the real pronunciation, but I'm going to call him Mr. Dudert. The Philippine president, who recently sparked outrage for calling God stupid, has courted new controversy in his largely Roman Catholic country by saying he will resign if anyone can prove that God exists. Uh, Mr. Dudert, sir, you, uh, no one can prove that God exists or doesn't exist. That's why it's called religion. And yes, Christianity is a religion, whether you like that term or not. I'm sorry, you're, it's mass worship of a deity. It's a religion. I never understand these people who say it isn't a religion. Anyway, President Rodrigo Duder, who has a thorny relationship with the church, Christian knew in a speech late Friday some of the basic tenets of the Catholic faith, including the concept of original sin, which he said taints even innocent infants and can only be removed through baptism and church for a fee. That's not how it works, Mr. Duder. You're supposed to get down on your knees and Pray to Jesus to forgive you and all that. Where's the logic in God there, Dudert asked in a speech in the opening of a science and technology event in southern Davos City. 73-year-old leader said there's, if there's one signal witness who can prove, perhaps, with a picture of herself, either a human was able to talk and see God, See, God, he will immediately resign. Hmm. Well, Mr. Duder, there's nobody who can do that. Like I said, no one can prove or disprove God. Duder, however, suggested that there must be a God or supreme being that prevents billions of stars and celestial bodies from colliding in a frequency that could have long threatened the human race. Last week he was slammed, including by some political allies, for calling God stupid in another speech, which one Catholic bishop calling him with one Catholic bishop calling him a psychopath. Duder lamented in the speech that Adam and Eve's sin in Christian theology resulted in faithful following from divine grace. Who is this stupid God? This son of a bitch is then really stupid, he said last week. You were not involved, but now you're stained with an original sin. What kind of religion is that? That's what I can't accept. Very stupid proposition. Well, Mr. Dudert, uh, actually, if you do a little reading, what was sin is they learned about uh, financial systems. I think there's a lot more that needs to be studied, especially about Genesis, because it has not been studied correctly by theologians. That's a discussion for another time. As for you, Mr. Dudert, uh, you could always consider uh, deism which is a belief that there is a God who created everything and then just, okay, you're on your own. That's actually uh, fairly similar to what I believe. I'm not a practicing deist. Well, Mr. Duder, uh your job is secure until some dirtbag assassinates you, or you die of natural causes, or whatever. Or you resign for other reasons. Whatever. Your job is secure, Mr. Duder, until that time. Because you can't take pictures of God, and you can't prove that God exists. No one can.
I'm Artifacts of Mars, Mr. Dudert. I come from sunny western New York State in the good old U.S. of A. And I am an agnostic. Thanks for watching.